Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Rick Schiavone. Hello. Hello Jim, thank you so much for having me again for another glorious Monday Night Claw. Again, we have the fallout of Hamageddon that uh, we had for all the kebab money in the world on Thursday. What a great show that was. How's everybody going to do tonight? Woo! Glorious. And amazingly, it's in Boston, Mass. <laughs> <laughs> the, the irony of the show that Skuramezzo hates the most <laughs> than the follow-up show. <laughs> the follow-up Monday Night Claw is in Boston. <laughs> well, we've got Volkvagor putting his title on the line in the Wemdorp Open Championship. Because that's what the Wemdorp Open Championship is, Volk. That is the one. It's defended every Monday night. And anyone in the back can come out and, and go for the title. And what a champ Volkvagor has been. He's defended it so many times. Um, just absolutely incredible, incredible run. Maybe the greatest champion in the JFW at this point in time. Yep, could well be. Certainly the longest reigning. And, and does it even matter who he's up against at this point? Like, I used to get super excited. And I'm just like, man, is can anybody beat him? I'm not sure they can. Yeah. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Underground Championship. Oh, Jim, it's Bub! Unbelievable! Absolutely a massive win the other day. Looked incredibly good. This could be one step too far for Volk. But go on, baby. Oh boy, it really could be. be beating, beating the Bostonian and the pride of Boston, <laughs> Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the New England Patriot legend on at Ham again. Now he's uh, now he's he's making his uh, his main show debut. Taken on. Volk the goal. Yeah, he certainly earned this uh, this title shot tonight. <laughs> Beak versus horns. The question on everybody's lips for years, which is better? <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Night Demon, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure Kurt Angle would enjoy this match. <laughs> don't get that reference, and I don't think I want to. <laughs> oh my god, it's, a, it's amazing. It's, a, it's absolutely amazing, Rick. You've got, you've got to Google it. Like, uh, right, I mean, it'll be on, right. it'll, it's on YouTube for sure. Just, just. Uh, if I get raided in the middle of the night by the police, Jim, I'm thoroughly blaming you. <laughs> <laughs> I will point them to this part. He meant bestial, but then he just added three letters, which made it. Oh no! Wrong. <laughs> Wow, here he comes, so happy, so confident, so comfortable <laughs> in himself and as the champion. Absolutely amazing. He knows how to get it done. Uh, honestly, I, I just, I want us to just Hello. have a good match. And they normally are, to be fair. They normally are quality matches. But uh, but yeah, he's, he's so good at winning every time. I'm just worried it's going to be a squash now. <laughs> Clearly, rhythm, one of the gifts of chaos. Here's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, the here's the uh, promo. If anybody if anybody wants to see the full promo, but um, it's pretty amazing. <sighs> no, you don't have to Google it. <laughs> To be fair, uh, Burb with the top hat looks like a Slanesh worshipper, doesn't he? Maybe, I mean, maybe if this yeah. is uh, if this was Games Workshop canon, he would be some kind of beast man, wouldn't he? He, he really would, yeah. Big Daddy V. Big Daddy V. Beautiful.
He's told of having he's a told. good look at the title belt that he so longs for. <laughs> he's not been around long, of course, uh, at all. So this would be an unbelievable start to his career in the JFW were he to win that title tonight. Yep. Oh, strength advantage, Volk, apparently, as he backs Burb into the corner. Very, very similar sizes, these two. Yeah. Yeah, I know that, Zinch. I don't know why I said Slanesh Cove last year. Yeah, of course, of course I know that. I, like, I don't know why. I don't know why I said completely the wrong thing. Of course I mean Zinch. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, what a thing to come out with. Burb quickly retaking control of this match, though. Flying already with a Hurricane Rana and now just stomping the heck out of the wrist of Volkvigor. I hope he has some uh, some additional Chaos Toughness going on down there, or he might even have a broken bone this early. Well, I've, I've got it on good authority that Volk trains his wrists, uh, you know, strict training regime <laughs> for his wrists, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I can believe it. I really can. Oh, my word. And he tries to fight back Burb using those uh, incredible webbed feet to smash him back into the canvas and take control once more. Oh, top hat to the chin. <laughs> what a move. <laughs> yeah, of course, originally perfected by Willy Wonka. <laughs> Now stretching out the legs. I don't think I've ever seen Volkvogel in this much trouble early on, Jim, but here we go. Whoa. Sidewalk slam to get him back into it. Yeah. And now we see the strength bestowed upon Volkvogel. Unbelievable Whoa. power Whoa. into pin. Far too early for the win, of course, but very <laughs> impressive. And now back on the right track for, retra for retaining the title. The nice uppercut. Oh, boy. Look at this, though. Oh my, oh my word, a, a, a varied pump handle slam. Yeah, incredible. Really nice technicality from Burb. You wouldn't know that he was new to the JFW with his performances so far. <laughs> yeah, maybe Shambhata. <laughs> if only we could make shorter wrestlers and have loads of umpa lumpers, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Uh, grabbing Volk by the horns and slamming him down. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> the disrespect shown by Burb is uh, is next level. He just, he, I guess he doesn't fear anyone. I mean, yeah. after, after, after having to beat up his, his, his absolute idol, Tom Brady, maybe he just yeah. doesn't care about anything anymore. Well, uh, oh my goodness, another sit-down powerbomb from Volk. That's incredible. <laughs> Going to get him right back into this once more because he has been struggling. But yeah, if you could beat Tom Brady, I guess you feel you could beat anybody. The greatest athlete of all time. <laughs> yeah. Just a one count still. Burb really has some fight about him. Oh, just stands up and smashes Volk into the corner. Oh my days, Volk's struggling now and he's going for a ride. <laughs> Old school technical skill from Volk, though. He knows all the tricks. He's been around the block a few times now. And look at that athleticism. That is absolutely stunning. But the leg is caught off the kick. Burb again in control. Unbelievable. <laughs> Grabbing the horns again, Jim. Oh, man. He, doesn't, he just doesn't care, does he? No, like most, most opponents, I feel, feed of the horns. Oh and want to stay God. away from them. Burb using them as a weakness almost to control Volkvogor. Is, mm -hmm. is he finding the way to, to undo Volkvogor's advantage? You know, if he sets the standard, others may follow. Volkvogor might go on as long a losing streak as he has had a winning streak. Yeah, that's true. He really is grabbing the bull by the horns. <laughs> <laughs> not, the, uh, not the most powerful move to follow up with a pin. So just the one count. Oh, my word. <laughs> I would, uh, I would not want to be in the ring with Burb right now. Oh, oh my goodness, he's absolutely psychotic. <laughs> Webbed foot to the head again. Oh, but Volk rolls through and drop toe hold takedown. Volk fighting back desperately. Does not ever want to give up that title belt. Oh, and a huge, huge knee to the gut. Beautifully done. Oh, and here we oh, are. Oh, what's he? No. No, changes his mind. Yeah, I thought he was going for the, uh, for the big horns move. Yeah. And maybe should have done. 
<laughs> yeah. Finds himself in trouble once more. Oh no, a beautiful arm drag takedown. Oof. Oh, <laughs> just a, a random uh, takedown pin. But the ref is accounting. The ref is yeah, the ref is accounting. Oh What's up God. with the ref? Oh my the God. ref, I don't understand. Oh my god, what a thing to have put that one! <laughs> what, what is Montfagor doing to Burb and is this PG, Jim? The absolute I, scenes in the JFW! Oh like, my god! You know when you take your kid to the zoo and you have to like make up some stupid excuse why the animals are doing a certain thing? Oh my That's god! That's exactly what's happening now! Oh my god! I'm sorry, uh, sorry everybody, we've got to... Uh... We've got to, we've got to, uh, we've got to take these apart here. This, this was not meant to happen. They are getting a bit too friendly there. There should be mutual respect, but not this. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, they're both looking uh, pretty refreshed after that, Jim. So we might be in for a long one. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Something, something, uh, something about that giving them an extra lease of life. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh, All right, uh, back to the disrespect now. <laughs> Space cadet. Oh dear! Yeah, we're going right back fighting again now. Oh, glad Dis got that disre one. disrespect again. <laughs> <laughs> my my ex used to tell me she didn't respect me after sex. She'd ring me up from the hotel and say, I don't respect you. <laughs> Flip me. Rick. Oh, beautiful, beautiful fight from Bolt. <laughs> A lovely elbow drop as well. Champion in control here. Can he keep this going? I always wonder and I always say, don't I? I, I don't know how much damage those punches do. Massive opponents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deep Rick Law. <laughs> yeah, I like to see Deep Rick Galactic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely uh, side headlock from Burb on the canvas here. Very difficult to get out of. This is the oh, trying to grasp the head and he does manage it. <laughs> and a side headlock of his own standing. But Burb gets out of that one much more quickly. Oh, look wow. at the slaps from Volk. Wow, these two really? are made for each other. They had a cuddle afterwards and now <laughs> <laughs> some slaps. This is brilliant. <laughs> I'm amazed they haven't had a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. oh, Burb's too tired. <laughs> uh, Volk, Volk letting him get back to his feet. <laughs> only, only consensual wrestling here. <laughs> Oh, but uh, but uh, it's a mistake to go easy in a JFW ring. Burb with an arm drag clothesline. Very nice. <laughs> oh, beak to the chest. Beak to the chest. What a move. What a move. Oh, no. Volk in all Whoa. sorts of trouble. Oh, my days. Massive, massive knee, and he's going to fly. The oh. Burb is going to fly, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, the oh. Volk's up. Too slow. Oh, oh he got it. Unbelievable power slam! And now the horns! Now the horns! He's not holding back this time, Jim. He got what he wanted earlier, and now he's finished in him. No longer too horny to win, just the correct amount of horns. Oh man, the ref's taking ages again. Did he? Did he? Absolutely uh, bought Burp time there. So no surprise to kick out at two, even after the horn. But I don't think it's going to last for long. We've seen this so many times in Volfagor's Wemdo title reign. Good Boy. night. What a move. It is it's just devastating. One, two, three. <laughs> and still Wemdo <laughs> champion of the world. And also recently made Volfagor, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a night for the two for goals. <laughs> and now they're gonna shake hands afterwards as well. <laughs> Mutual respect for their performance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What a, what a match! Could we be seeing a new tag team forming? <laughs>
I'm, I'm hearing, Jim, that Burb just laid an egg backstage. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> what a match. What a night. What a night for the JFWA. <laughs> <laughs> Found true love. <laughs> uh, on live streaming. <laughs> you never know what you've got to roll with. <laughs> oh, man. Well, now, now we've got... Uh, now we've got... Boy, howdy! The pre, the 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 recently dethroned tag team champions, the glorious ones, versus the the up and coming monster monster team of Night Demon and Pepper Biscuit. I mean, this is terrifying, isn't it? Holy Absolutely man. incredible! Yeah, um, Night Demon and Pepper Biscuit starting to find their feet now after an initial bit of um, yeah. Uh, I don't know, uh, they were a bit of a rough diamond, weren't they, at first in the tag team division? Not quite used to uh, that style of wrestling. Couple of big wins since. And yeah, the Glorious One's one of the greatest tag teams of all time. But what an embarrassingly horrific, <laughs> pathetic performance at Hamageddon. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Look, I said they're one of the greatest of all time, and it's true. I guess we all have off days. Holy crud, that was really an, uh, an off day and a half. It really was, yeah. <laughs> Oh man. And what a match that was. <laughs> it was absolutely terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about that match? Well this should be a tank this should be a main event in any in any it, it could be in a main event at any pay per view, couldn't it? What a what a match this is gonna be. Yeah, this, this is this is ridiculous. Yeah, but we we are honoured on Monday Night Claw tonight to have this as our second match after a Wemdo title match. This is a ridiculously strong start. But it, rightly so though, because both these tag teams need to earn themselves a title shot in the future if they want one, right? Absolutely. No it, we've just got a we've just got an embarrassment of wealth in the tag team division, I think. Indeed, yeah, and there's no, you know, there's no ridiculous uh, nepotism, you know, you just because you're the, the cousin twice removed from the rock, that doesn't give you a title <laughs> shot here. <laughs> You've got to earn your spot. Exactly. <laughs> it's not like the rock himself was uh, the first third generation wrestler in the WWF. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll see much, much better from the Glorious Ones tonight. But but that being said, even if they bring their best, it's not absolutely guaranteed against Six Feet Down Under. They are that darn good that Six Feet Down Under could win this, even if it's an absolute barn burner. Absolutely. If only Reckless had run, wouldn't it be glorious? And... This is one of the people that it. But yeah, she said she's got a book crack. <laughs> a book crack top, hasn't she? <laughs> 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 Boy, One of the most intimidating sights, surely, as a JFW wrestler you could possibly ever experience facing these two coming down the ring towards you, knowing what their intentions are. Yep. <laughs> I was just thinking it could be worse. You could see you could see Vulcan Bird backstage and not know what their intentions were. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, <laughs> after that, <laughs> these two, yeah, absolute monsters of the JFW. This is this is a sight to behold. What a match this is going to be. Yeah, but better to be tag teamed by six feet down under than double teamed by <laughs> Bourbon Vault. Yeah, that's, that's true. Dude. <laughs> Some people will pay twice as much for that kind of action. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Right, uh, so the smaller man on the six feet down under, not that he's small at all, nobody is here, but uh, but against the bigger man of the glorious one. So an interesting uh, matchup starts here. Yeah, oh my strategy. word, it's just incredible how Night Demon can execute that kind of move. Oh, Speed and precision is mind boggling. Absolutely. Oh, oh goodness me. 
Oh my word. I don't think they'd allow this in MMA. This is sickeningly devastating to Table Leg. Absolutely. Table Leg gonna have oh. to draw on some of that power and that's exactly what we see. Oh no! No, he can't. Oh no! He tried, Jim, but he couldn't do it. And, and Night Demon, the smaller of the two, can. Almost superhuman, possibly supernatural. <laughs> Maybe uh, drawing on the power of Halloween coming close as well. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. They're uh, generally stronger in the next few weeks. <laughs> that is a great point, yeah. It is. Uh, I guess this Friday there could be a Halloween special or next Monday, one of the two. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, table leg managing some semblance of control and gets Jimin. That's what he really needed. He was off to a bad start, but he's not exactly been devastated. He just needs a breather. And Jim going to take control. We get the glorious ones back on top. Night Demon prevented from tagging as well. Excellent start from Jim. Well, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Classic commentator's curse. But like a BBSL final, it's all gone wrong. <laughs> Ah, uh, Jim's nice and fresh, and, and Night Demon needed the tag, so it's bought Jim some time. Wow, Jim managing to hold his own <laughs> physically with Pepper Biscuit in a clash of clotheslines there. Pretty impressive. Yeah, briefly. But yeah, eventually, uh, eventually pulls him down because Jimmy did miss with a follow-up, unfortunately. And that is costing him right now. Oh, dear. Oh, Jimmy fighting out, though. Lovely little uppercuts. Not quite the Brexit uppercut, but it'll do for now. <laughs> quick tag. Yeah, this is good. Good quick tagging. I like this. It wasn't like, like I say, it wasn't like Table Leg was completely devastated. He just needed a breather. Get the big guy back in. Jim did a good job. Glorious one's right back into this match. And now well, there's one of the few people who can compete with Pepper Biscuit uh, physically, isn't there? It's Wanger. Yeah, power for power, these two absolutely top five in the JFW just at, of all time. Absolutely amazing power. The only man I've ever seen dominate either of them, Goliath Games. How on earth that guy is as strong as he is, I will never know. Yeah. Halloween. <laughs> Got no Halloween. <laughs> and of course, main event tonight, Jim. Uh, somehow Rick has got to find another way past that power. And he can't do it the same way because it's, uh, it's extreme rules. So he's got to find a different strategy tonight to get himself past the inhuman ability of Goliath Games. Yeah, it's going to be a massive test. Oh! What a move. Lovely shoulder takedown, though. Again, the strength of uh, Wanger saving him and very smartly dragging Pepper Biscuit to the, uh, to the Glorious One's corner. Another and quick yeah, tag. The, yeah. yeah, really, really, really liking the quick tagging from uh, the Glorious Ones. This is exactly how you should go about such a, a mammoth challenge like this. Does unfortunately eat a knee to the gut. Jim will be fine for now. Oh no. Oh, is this a brain buster? It is. Nasty. Very nasty. Jim's going to need to rely on Pepper Biscuit having to make a tag. Oh my word. But a press slam as well. We talked about the power. That is incredible. Sit down press slam. Oh my God. Jim will be all right though. He's okay for now. He's used to getting beaten up and then coming back. <laughs> Yeah, Wanger didn't even make a move to try and save me. He had faith that Jim would yeah, kick he out. Knew. He, he knew. I, I had faith as well. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling the end yet for Jim. Oh, my word, though. It, it, Pepper, uh, Night Demon hasn't missed a step since the tag in for Pepper Biscuit, though. <laughs> Deary me, Jim needs to find something, even if it's just a way to tag. That's a lovely roll. Oh, me. And here we go, over to the Glorious One's corner. Has he got the legs for it, though? Yeah, does the Snapmare take down wise before uh, Night Demon can find a way to fight out. Yeah, I like this, trying to slow him down a bit. Yeah, I really like this from Jim. No? Much, much better performance already. And the glorious splash! Wow! <laughs> out of nowhere! Oh my goodness! Gym it's a Jim Bottom! It could be over! <laughs> Is Pepper Biscuit going to be able to make the save? That's the question. Jim Bottom! Jim, Jim Bottom land! It's going to be up. Table Leg versus Pepper Biscuit, because that is three. Oof. Oh, oh, yeah, no sign of movement at all from Night Demon, but PB does make the save. Oh, only to get completely wiped out by Table Leg. If Jim can find a finish in a minute, there is no save this time. Oh, my word. Beautiful neck breaker. Make the pin, Jim. Nice. This is a great, great, uh, great run from Jim here. 
Yeah, we, we don't know exactly why it went so badly wrong on Thursday for the Glorious Ones, but basically they've got it back together, haven't they? And with incredible determination and execution tonight, they are putting together a wonderful counter performance to say, look, we're back, we're bad, and we're going to be going for those titles again at some point. Yep. Maybe they're just too disgusted by Ham again, you know, like it's... Yeah, uh... yeah, yeah, to be... Who can possibly blame anybody for that, to be fair? <laughs> It's a traumatic experience watching it, never mind taking it. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is, I'll say that again. Night Demon fighting on instinct now, absolute desperation. Takedown of punches, that is not going to even get close to winning. And I have no idea if Pepper Biscuit is back on the apron yet. I think I just saw signs of life. There he is now. Okay, an incredible strength from Night Demon. I really don't know how he does this. He's superhuman, supernatural. Oh my word, what's he, what's he drawing on there? I, I dread to think the voices in his head and what they're telling him to do. <laughs> I do think they talk to him. Oh no, oh no, table oh, leg! God. Oh! Voodoo steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Table leg into the six feet down on the corner. That is not where he wants to be. Oh my word, the drop kick to the head. Oh. Like him though, actually having to catch his breath. That's uh, it's unusual for him. Mm. So much effort has gone into this offense against Table Leg. Oh, oh no, that is the move that finished many of Volkfagor's matches in his favor. Table Leg completely at the mercy of Pepper Biscuit now as Night Demon realizes he actually needs a breather for how much he's been beaten up on Table Leg. And if Table Leg can at all find a way to tag Jim, that is what the Glorious Ones need. <laughs> I feel like Ooh. Table Leg's... Oh my word, busted open by the ground and pound of Pepper Biscuit. I, I feel like Table Leg's played uh, the role of Elliot a little bit in recent weeks. Seems to take the beatings and then bring in Jim for the, uh, for the dynamics. <laughs> There it is. He did manage it. Fair play to Table Leg. Jim was on fire before. Looks like he still is. <laughs> oh my <laughs> word. Jimmy, fantastic. Living up to his name and then some. Oh. Actually, <laughs> with the best of them. Mrs. Wanger driving, driving around in circles. <laughs> Bit of inspiration. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> when right hands are hurting Pepper Biscuit, you know they've got a bit of uh, force behind them, that's for sure. Oh, oh no. Jimmy, no! Oh, so close. It was on fire. Pepper Biscuit finally managing to wiggle out of uh, possibly a Samoan drop. Oh. oh, and there's the Brain Buster again. Second one to Jim. Might <laughs> even be concussed now. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh dear. Oh, Jim. The second one of these from Peppered Biscuit. I think Wang is going to have to run in now. Whoa. Yeah, that, that does feel like he's going to need his friend. Here he comes. Night Demon's in super fast. He's got the long way around to go, though. And oh, table, I couldn't find. But there he is. And oh. gets Night Demon into the sharpshooter. Ah, oh, <laughs> Night Demon saved. But uh, oh. he's the one that came out worse out of the tag partners. That isn't normally the way around it goes. Mm. They were like, not done with Night Demon yet. And reaching for Peppered Biscuit. Goodness mm. me. Trying to pull all the tricks out. <laughs> Table like sharpshooter <laughs> on the outside to Night Demon. No figure of four. Unbelievable. <laughs> Jimmy dominating in the middle. This is great uh, work from both the glorious ones. They're getting hyped awesome. up by, uh, by Mrs. Wang. It's intense. <laughs> intense moves here. <laughs> <laughs> she is walking with a purpose. The glorious splash. Night Demon getting ruined by Table Leg. It's all over, Jim. They've it done be. it. Oh. oh. That was Pepper Biscuit found that kick out. I guess he's probably the fresher of the two, or was, not anymore. Oh, Jim oh, the Bottom. Jim Bottom. Jim Bottom and Table Leg is still destroying. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Absolutely <laughs> murdering Night Demon on the outside. Incredible. This has got to be it. That is definitely it, Count it Ralph. Beautiful performance. Glorious. 
from zeros to heroes in just a few days. Absolutely oh, stunning. Hey, One of the best tag team performances I've seen in a long time. Nobody does that to six feet down under, but the glorious one just did. Boy, howdy. <laughs> yeah, incredible. Going, going to town and I do on the outside. As you say, we just never really see that, do we? That was incredible. <laughs> We certainly don't. Table leg uh, really had a point to prove. Mate, he probably had the worst of it in the ring as well out of Jim and himself. So uh, just saw an opportunity to really take out his frustrations and make sure that Jim was clean, clear to get the win. <laughs> well, thanks, Night Demon, and uh, that's, that's pure conjecture space for that. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. If the ref allows it, I guess. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Yeah, the ref can't see it, then then he can't stop it, can he? So there you go. And you know, if you find yourself like, you know, is it Wanya's fault? Like, you know, that he found Night Demon around there. That's not, you know, it just is what it is. <laughs> it was a ridiculously good performance from from Wanya, wasn't it? Because obviously he came in to save Jim, and yeah. that normally. You, you, you pay the price, but instead he turned the tables and also took out Night Demon to the outside and then didn't stop there and continued to take him out. That is, that is just an incredible trio of uh, of uh, events by uh, by Table Lane. Absolutely. And speaking of incredible trios, we've got, <laughs> we've got Physics, Fimir, and Bajor. Yeah, three, three great wrestlers. I'm really excited for this one, but I'm particularly excited to see Bezel uh, one of uh, one of the best wrestlers to watch, shall we say, in the uh, in the JFW. Uh, nothing disturbing about watching Bezel at all and his outfit, but uh, but yeah, no, it's really. I haven't seen him in a long time. He's yeah. incredible, and it's great to see him back. Yeah, no, nothing can really keep you down right night, Demon, to be fair. It's uh, a minor minor setback, but yeah, heck of a heck of a match from the glory song. Yeah, I thought that to be honest, Cookie, yeah, there's all on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why, why is the idea of genitals so much more disturbing than actual genitals? We'll, we'll never know, but, uh, but yeah, for me, uh, so far, not picked up a victory, am I right in saying, Jim? In the JFW, undefeated in pre-show backstage brawls, but in actual official JFW matches, uh, zero for three or four. Yeah, I believe that's correct, yeah. He's, uh, he's often putting in excellent performances, but just, I don't know, like celebrating at the wrong times and uh, just little mistakes like that that you'd expect from a newer wrestler, but hopefully he'll work out his game and, uh, and go on a nice win run very soon. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, ice cream. There is uh, Fimir is like busier now, so he, he says he'll be around less for the uh, for the commentary. So good that he can wrestle more, doesn't it? <laughs> Spanish arrogance. <laughs> At least he's not part of a cheating ring. <laughs> <laughs> that we know of. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what has happened there backstage at JFW? <laughs> at 260 pounds, the gangster, the he, uh, he certainly has his moments, pulls out some incredible wins, but hasn't ever quite put together the kind of win streak that would uh, propel him to the top of the JFW in recent months, in many, many months. Yeah, all, all three of these occupying a bit of a similar spot, really, aren't they? In the, in the yeah, on, on on the verge of being fully fledged and, and back and uh, regular, doing well, but uh, but only on that verge. They gotta they gotta top that mountain and get down the other side, and uh, one of them will take a huge step towards that tonight. Yeah, I think I think the main problem that all of these share is not having their name in their butt. I think that is <laughs> that is a key JFW bat, isn't it? You've got to have your name on your butt, and and they don't have their names it, anywhere. It helps a lot. 
Basil or physics. Mm. Uh, how, how, how do you even know that you've got the right one if, if your name isn't on it? Indeed. You just have to get... Go to get a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like slightly bigger commitment for, for, for BZL than Midland. <laughs> what an entry. <laughs> oh, I have missed this. <laughs> the genius creator of EAB. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two geniuses in this match, isn't there? Not just Sir Isaac Newton, we've also got Bazaar. The, uh, the frequent conqueror and eventually collaborator with Demon Prince Rick Reckless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop that run before it even got started. <laughs> oh, man, it's all good. <laughs> That's all right. Just observing, letting us see his pixelated asshole. <laughs> oh! But a rough start though for Mir, trying to prove a point. Wants that first W on his record. Oh, <laughs> Knows that when you start to win, all the previous losses are forgotten and forgiven. Whoa, what a move. Yeah, that's really, really nice from BZL. Doesn't look like he's lost a step. And just as I say that, wildly misses with a knee, but follows it up with a lovely, lovely clothesline to physics, smashing him into the corner and sending it for right onto, onto for Mir. Oh my word. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> what a move. Kicks him in the head somehow. Oh my goodness. BZL, absolute monster. I'd forgotten just how good he was. <laughs> yeah. He has, on his day, beaten the absolute best of the best in the JFW and shown us exactly why here. Yeah, no ring rust here so far. This is just domination. Really? Oh, really oh, isn't? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, but I'll tell you what, Jim. That's going to equalize anything. <laughs> the man with the least protection of all the entire JFW. I was just thinking that. I was just thinking that. Regretting his uh, attire choices for the first time in his career. <laughs> wow. Great smarts from Fabia. Oh, and boy, does that smart for BZL. <laughs> <laughs> he's all right, folks. Showing the crowd that he's okay as Fizzik uh, fights out <laughs> for Mir's hold. Puts him in one of his own. Oh, here we go. Oh, double, double team. team. Oh. Picking on the new guy. Oh, now the old school boy is going at it. Physics initially getting on top with a, a lovely side suplex. Oh, stomping the heck out of the arm. Is he going to the top? He would have done if he could have done. <laughs> Physics not quite understanding what goes up must come down. <laughs> well, Physics, of course, is the guy who discovered gravity, but also the guy who uh, gravity forgot, so it's quite an incredible <laughs> combination. The, the ironies in the JFW are never ending. Famir timing this wonderfully. BZL taking out Physics and Famir. Oh, just a one count, but a lovely move. Can't believe he only got one. Come up with a new plan now, though. What's he going to do? Ah, oh, submission headlock. Nice effort. The ref looking closely, but Physics is going to rejoin the party. Yes, yeah, Space, it's been a while since we've seen Physics all bezel. Uh... It has indeed. God, oh, it oh, double underhook. Belly to back. Oh, goodbye for me. He's going to be down and out for a long time. I actually thought we'd roll out the ring, but physics just continuing. The destruction. They're going for Ooh. a superplex. Vermeer saves himself, though, in a lovely Hurricane Rana. This will finally recovered. Oh, wow. Incredible strength. Throwing for me pretty much by the ears, and this time he does roll out. And now oh, finds a completely prone physics to take advantage of. But this is triple threat. This is just first pin. It's not elimination. So while it's smart to avoid damage, could mean that he misses the opportunity to break up the oh! pin. <laughs> what an unbelievable uh, jump over the drop kick of physics by VZL. Yeah. Amazing. And then dodges under the grapple. 
The speed and agility of this man. Oh! 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 But you can't dodge that if you don't see it coming. I, that is not the camera angle I wish we had. <laughs> oh, it covers the, covers the finish. Oh, my goodness. BZL is a, is a beast from the east. This is incredible. So, he's a bit confused. Yeah, a li little bit unsure what he wants to do here. <laughs> in, out, in, out. And unfortunately, shakes it all about. Uh, uppercuts, <laughs> uppercuts from here down. And now... Wiping Whoa. out physics once more. But look at Vermeer. His time is now. He sees it coming. Uh, misses the drop kick, but he's going to break this up, is he? No. Physics has already found the way out. Oh, my goodness. All three men standing. Physics swaps his, uh, swaps his targets for Vermeer. Vermeer not expecting that for a second. Oh. And then BZ on taking advantage of blindsiding physics. It's over. Oh. You can't blame physics for finding a way to kick out of that. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Ziel saying it's still over. Oh, my word. Oh, oh, my word. He might be physics, but right now, BZL's defying biology. <laughs> oh, for me? No. Oh, this is BZL. By what? Bessel, isn't it? What has he oiled himself up with? Because he is slipping out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh for me, uh, this looks ominous. Here he go for a ride, belly to back. Oh, oh. absolutely miles, but he's finally tied himself out. The physics in no state to take advantage of fact he does bend. Him. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, gonna have to try and move BZL. That's kind of the point of wrestling. <laughs> or, or you could just celebrate. That's also good. <laughs> Kicks him back down with disdain. Feeling he's getting a little overconfident here. Right now, kind of desired. Yeah, again, uh, just a little a little boot into pin. Not quite going to cut it. No. Finally, the ring rust showing. <laughs> What's again. He's just happy to be there, isn't he? Oh, finally, oh, he's got a chair. With a chair. For me with a chair. Oh, That's the oh. chair he normally sits on, Jim. Oh, <laughs> BZL. Oh, he keeps missing more. No! Oh! Missed that time. Bezel fighting out again. And for me, caught by Physics. Oh. Physics caught by Bezel. Bezel realizing there was danger behind him, wiping out both men. Yeah, genius again from Bezel. Oh, for me, denied the German suplex and a Hurricane Rana. Oh. If Vermeer can get a grip of Physics, he could get the win. Bezel going to be out for a while. Physics pretty battered. Oh, oh. God, what a move. Oh, my word. Shears Look how unconscious he is. He may, he may have even been onto the chair. Oh. oh, man. Just a two. Come on, Vermeer. Get that first win, buddy. Oh, lovely drop kick. Here we, Here we go. go. Bezel's still down. Don't look at him. <laughs> <laughs> try, try it not to, Jim. Peripheral vision's a wonderful gift. Oh, no, Vermeer. Without the strength to lift physics, it's oh. all gone horribly wrong. Oh, he oh, missed with the... Swing and a miss with a low blow. <laughs> oh, he oh, got, no, him he got, him. He got him Bezel matches over. There's no way he's coming back from that. Physics! Oh, my word. Defying the laws. He's oh, got him. He oh. No. No. How has Vermeer kicked out of that? Oh, green apple. Is this the green apple? Physics from the top. Surely it is. This time. Oh, my word. That is impossible. <laughs> Bezel isn't going to recover in time and win does. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> what a Ooh. finish. Holy moly. <laughs> That is incredible. That was that was so much. Oh my word! I feel like BZL absolutely dominated, but then mm -hmm. uh, but then physics just took advantage at the end. <laughs> yeah. It was the low blow, wasn't it? He, he absolutely dominated, and then just got wiped out by the low blow. Yeah. <laughs> and he'd taken a chair shot. He almost got missed in all the action, but he'd taken a chair shot just before that as well. Yeah, true. Two 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 low blows and a chair shot. So. 
those three moves on their own, doing so much oh, damage. That is as close as it comes to finishing, wasn't it? Man. <laughs> well, may maybe we'll see more of physics in the coming weeks. Yeah, maybe. After, if, it, if they're all matches like that, you'd have no complaints from me. Absolutely incredible, incredible stuff. What a, what a show we're having tonight, goodness me. The Glorious Ones versus Six Feet Down Under, Volt for Gore's defense against Bourbon, this. Incredible. Yeah. And <laughs> now, it's time for a bit of... Oh God, I don't even want to say it now. Two Cockneys, I won't say it. We've got two Arsenal fans. We've got Dimmy G and Purple Chest. Well, there's uh, there's Fuck no accounting off, for taste in football teams, but uh, but you know these two men are absolutely legendary inside and out of the JFW, and they know how to put on a match and then some. So yeah, this could be another awesome match tonight. Yep. You often see these two backstage together, you, you know, hear, hear shouts from their, they, you know, they share a dressing room sometimes and you'll, you'll hear them shouting up the arse and uh, we can only assume <laughs> that they're Arsenal fans. <laughs> Sadly for him, Lemon escaped his... His cage produce match at Armageddon. <laughs> <laughs> I did. His, his tyranny of caged produce has come to an end. <laughs> <laughs> PC got a huge, huge win though against Foxamania, didn't he? I think it was Friday night stand firm. He did, yeah, and that's his reward is to be catapulted into an amazing opportunity at Claw to show what he can do against Dimmy. Yeah, if, uh, if PC follows that up with a win against Dimmy, I think he starts facing the uh, the absolute tier S JFW superstars. Mm. Oh man, need a JFW get... tier list, that's genius. It's <laughs> 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 actually that's a pretty good idea, I like that. I like that, I like that, Rick. One problem, there's not enough letters in the alphabet for Ansi. Here comes the man so confident, he thinks he can do it with his eyes closed. Yeah. He did do it, didn't he? One amazing win against Foxamania on Stan it, really it was absolutely incredible. I'm genuinely excited to see if he can follow that up here. I'm a big fan of him, he's in the JFW, but uh, I must admit, I, I kind of want to see PC continue this role that he's just begun. Yeah. He's not expecting it at all. Oh, what a shot. <sighs> Deliberately targeting... Timmy's favourite area is stomach. <laughs> yeah, to, you know, it's a good idea, right? Because Timmy might have just eaten a kebab before he started and he yeah. might get some yeah. of reaction. Or, or he might be more ready to quit if he feels like he'll be eating, like, soup for the next few weeks because he can't stomach the kebabs, you know? That's, yeah. It's unthinkable. <laughs> soup and green tea. It's his, it's his worst nightmare. <laughs> Uh, sadly not ice cream. Fr Friday night will be Flicky Flack and his tag team partner, I think. PC, off to a great start. He really is on a roll, it would seem. Uh-oh, wait. Yes, he's got him. Took two attempts, but over Dimmy goes. Oh, God. Yeah, Timmy's had a pint of five. <laughs> yeah, we say the PC, you know, limits himself with this with this uh, blindfold, but Timmy always comes <laughs> comes in after at least five <laughs> pints. <laughs> oh, Timmy finally turning things around. I was going to say this this is a match to show which of them is getting coaching from Arteta, and so far I thought it was probably Dimmy, but he's actually doing a bit better now. Oh man. Every Dimmy taunt should be the flare flop, shouldn't it? <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. 
<laughs> oh, oh, wonderful neck breaker from Dimmy, sending PC every which way, following it up with some beautiful stomps as well, right on the blindfold. Oh, man. Oh, word. The PC looks completely gone. Come on, PC. Oh, no. Oh, no. Crushing knee to the head. Wow. How has PC found a way to kick Dimmy back away again and take control? That's a speculative pin. Oh, PC not letting Dimmy bounce up for a second. Dimmy incredibly quick on his feet, but uh, PC with huge right hands instantly saw it coming. Oh, this is just a pounding. It is. Oh, PC taking him to pound town. Oh, shoulder tackle take down those puts Dimmy back in control. What's he doing, Jim? It's not extreme rules. It's just having a break, I guess. He's... He's, he's, he's lost his head. He's, he's getting spin anxiety. <laughs> PC taking full advantage. He does suffer from the old spin anxiety, doesn't he, Dimmy? I think, I think all of us do uh, at some point or another. It's certainly something I could sympathise with. I have not, it in not... terms of once my team looks good, you know? Like, I'm, just, I'm scared of losing players. Yeah, f That's final days right of the right season right. for me. Uh, very tricky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, my, my high elf run, I, sh I should have probably won one out with those high elves. I should have just put the games on to get a natural one turn, you know? And then yeah, I think yeah, that would have been. Players. But, but at the end of the day, losing one or two of the other players would have been worth getting a natural one turn, wouldn't it? Yeah, probably would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it is so hard to do that. I, I really do appreciate it. And certainly some seasons I've managed it and some seasons I haven't myself. I've just parked and, uh, and taken whatever I've got. Cranking the uh, cranking the head of Dimmy PC beautifully back in control. Really does look like he might follow up this win over Foxomania with another huge one over Dimmy. Yeah, massive cranker is PC. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what most people say about dwarf coaches, isn't it? <laughs> 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 PC, of course, quite, quite the community man with his uh, One World One Blood Bowl podcast. Awesome episode so far. Another another excellent one. Sunday just gone. Yeah. Oh, dear. Didn't quite live up to the second one, I thought. I thought the second one was the best. I don't know about <laughs> you, Rick. <laughs> well, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's harsh to judge any by the second one's standards. So, you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll just say it was good in its own right. PC sent flying. I thought he was going into the corner. <laughs> Dimmy has exposed the turnbuckle. The steel is showing. And right now, the ref doing nothing about it. Oof. You see, it's turnbuckle. Dimmy getting completely psyched up. And the neck breaker onto the concrete. He is uh, equalizing anything PC did before with this damage outside. It's so much magnified. Oh, lovely right hand from PC. Don't know how he even got the angle. Dimmy sees the second one coming and comes back with a left of his own. The turnbuckle still exposed. Oh, oh right, right hand from PC. Massive dex, Dimmy. <laughs> and there's the choke slam. Oh, this boy. could be it. What an impact. Takes PC a second to get the pin. The ref straight down, though. Oh. Well, how often have we seen this followed up by the tombstone? Yep, here we go. <laughs> it's every time. There it is. It's in. Ah. It's in. GG. PC on an unbelievable run. First Foxomania. Now, Dimmy G, what's the ref doing? Oh, he's taking a while. Is Dimmy going to get it? No. <laughs> Still got it. Very impressive. Holy moly. Yep, hugely impressive, yeah. Fuck off, Dimmy. Dominating. Dominating win for PC. <laughs> yeah, he's not, not going to be a million miles away from a title shot after Foxomania and Dimmy victories. Yeah. So, certainly a number one contender shot might be in his, uh, might be in his future soon. Absolutely huge wins. Huge wins for PC. Here is your winner, PC. 
Wolf Power Baton has no power here. <laughs> yeah. I've been this good for ages. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, beating beating Foxomania was even more was even more impressive than the Dimmy one, I think. But still, great win. Great to follow it up with another with another big win. Race world champion, Dimmy. Dimmy. Pardon? Confused then. Recent world champion Dimmy. I recent saying. world champion Dimmy. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was I was baffled by that sentence. <laughs> yes, he was recent. Yeah, he was. He was. Um, so I mean, he's he's a great competitor, Dimmy. I wasn't I wasn't trying to sell Dimmy short there, but I expected the Dimmy you were win. Just paying him a compliment. The, yeah, I, I expected the Dimmy win after the like. I thought the Dimmy win. You know, once you've beaten Foxomania, that takes the shine off the Dimmy win a bit, doesn't it? You know, like it'd be the same the other way around as yeah. well. Like it's like the the Foxomania win launched him into the uh, stratosphere, and now he's consolidated it with a Dimmy win. There you go. Fair. Uh, oh baby, like what a ridiculously good Monday Night Claw we're having tonight. <laughs> I don't know what's in the water. This has got me so excited. The Quad Skulls on absolute fire since becoming whole. And uh, the Scousers just winning all the gold in sight. Nothing will stop them once they've got their sights set on anything that will make them that sweet, sweet moolah. So, uh, yeah, this is could be anybody's. I, I just don't know who to call, Jim. Yeah, it's true. This is sick, yeah. Three champions in this match. Steve Motti and Fugonomics are the tag champions, and Hancock is the Plim Plum Plus Waiter champion. So, yeah, unbelievable. All three Scousers with belts. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. They... they they won all the streamer titles, and then they went full-time proper JFW on the card, and yeah, have taken three titles in no time proper as well. Unreal. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. they've had a rocket strapped to them. <laughs> well, they strapped it themselves because it's not predetermined. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike certain, you know, imposter. Lesser <laughs> organizations, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no matter how good they are in the ring, Jim, <laughs> they have to uh, they have to unpick strategy. And can they do it? <laughs> if you come up with a good enough plan, you can beat anybody, anytime, any day. And that's what we're going to see, I feel, from the Quad Skulls here. And that's true. There's no bigger strategic genius than Space Cadet. And what is he going to come up with for this one? And is there a more motivated man than Jack Bull? Because if you pr don't give him a reason to celebrate, <laughs> he is uh, he is not going home. <laughs> you can say that again, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no better punching bag than Elliot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much the uh, the Scouser's stamina has been tested thus far. So yeah, punching themselves out on Elliot is going to be a new challenge they're going to have to deal with. <laughs> And Elliot's nice. <laughs> that was PC, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that I can't quite believe what I'm seeing with those three title belts around the Scousers' waist, Jim. It feels like only yesterday we were saying they were new to the JFW, and here they are. They have taken over. Unbelievable, isn't it? Outrageous. Riding high, of course, after uh, Liverpool won. Was it 5-0 at Old Trafford? Absolutely insanity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Space Cadet. Probably, <laughs> probably instant full devaluing of the tag belts and please away belt. Well, well, we'll only find out for sure when somebody finally wins one of them back. So, uh, yeah, lo looking forward to getting them reevaluated. <laughs> Unfortunately, impossible at the moment. Yo, Steve. Oh, God. Crazy stuff. Yep, there he is. Elliot in first. <laughs> 
They, uh, they did miss him the other day when it was Jack Bull and Space Cadet tagging. I feel like this is going to be stronger now with Elliot reunited. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely start from Steve Motti, though. Of course, this is exactly playing into the hands of the quad skulls, beating up Elliot. <laughs> that is a nice neck breaker, though, from Elliot. Beautiful. So, Jim, over or under, Jack Bull being tagged into the match. <laughs> uh, well, the over under is one, isn't it? I guess. It's got to be. I think he might, he might, we might be an under one as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Elliot whipped into the Scouser's corner and absolutely smashed with a clothesline. Can he find anything? Not yet. Oh, Elliot. Oh, oh man. What a move. Massive strength from Steve Motti. Nice kick to the thigh, though, by an Elliot. A moment's time to whip him into the quad skulls corner. Are we going to see a new skull? We are. It's Space Cadet time, baby. Whee. Oh. Space loves his elbow drops. Yeah, that's true, Space. Yeah. Jack Bull, he started off like the hardest competitors, right? He was fighting, you know, uh, Night Demon and Pepper Biscuit and stuff. And then... As the tag team member, he's mostly been <laughs> standing at, standing on the apron. <laughs> it's it's just reassuring to know he's there if you need him for Elliot in space. But most matches they don't. Huge spear by Space at the corner gets countered, and uh, and Steve drags him over to bring in Hancock for the first time. Space in a little bit of trouble early. Mm -hmm. No jawbreaker either. That's what he often finds, but he dodges the super kick. <laughs> Only to eat another right hand. Mm. Oh, and touches the flying crossbody in the corner as well, though, but he just can't find his own maneuver. And Whoa. look at that from Hancock. That is why he's Plim Plom Blues Away champion. Oof. Spinning fist. Ah, oh, but the kick is caught. Come on, Space. Yeah. <laughs> Luthez Press. Eat that, Hancock. <laughs> oh, my word. Can you drop to the face. Misses with the stomp, though. Oh, Hancock uh, thought we were going to get something through the ropes, but just grabs him and launches him into the corner. Space desperately crawling to his corner, but had a long, long way to go and didn't even get close. Is it Fugonomic time? Ooh, oh! Tosses what him a off. counter! All yeah. the way to the concrete. He actually tossed him off. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, on oh. the apron. Great strength from Space Cadet. <laughs> Suddenly, Hancock looking completely out of it. Two massive uh, moves eaten there. Oh, and a nasty knee to the gut. <laughs> oh, oh my kick. word. Great flexibility in the leg from Space. Got to watch out for that count. Yeah. I often say that about Space Cadet. <laughs> <laughs> Space needs to kind of needs to look for the tag though soon. Yep, here comes Steve Motti. Oh, oh look, look at him! him. The cheat! The cheat! Disgusting! Rest. Oh my goodness! Oh. He's not stopping! <laughs> and Steve Motti is just dancing! <laughs> Steve Motti, the legal man! Oh. How has Space found that Luther's press? Where oh. on earth did he get that from? Oh man, that was incredible! Absolutely making Steve Motti pay, but he does find the arm drag to take control again. Space blocks the, uh, the punch though! He kicks and punches of his own. This is a great effort from Space, but he desperately needs that tag, Jim. Oh, oh my goodness, he's going for the elbow. What are you doing? Bad man. Oh, hey. oh, oh he my missed. God. Well, then he missed. Oh, what the hell? Hancock they just will it. not stop cheating at any given moment in this match, will they, Jim? The Scousers, it's like a disease. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, the spike DDT. Here comes Jabal. Oh, Jabal in and out, getting away with it. Oh, Hancock. Oh, Jabal back Whoa. in. Whoa. Trying to help out, but uh, doesn't quite manage it. He might be going to drop you. Oh, Jabal back in again. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Referee get control of this one. 
Quad Skulls have had enough of all this Scouse cheating and they are double teaming again. <laughs> Come on, ref. Let's get two legal men in the ring and no more, please. Space for the Jack tag. Jack in. Jack in. Jack Ball's actually in. <laughs> oh, no. Immediately caught by fucking Owen. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Instantly taken out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word, launched across the ring. The strength of Fogonomic always impressing me. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. Oh dear. Oh, oh my so word! Oh, 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 Powerbomb into the corner, into the turnbuckle. Oh, Jabble! How has he found a way to power out of that? Fogger having to tag in Hancock. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at the energy of Hancock. But Jack Bull's straight back up as well. Yeah, yeah, and the speed of Jack Bull out doing the Plim Plum Blues White Champion. You don't see that very often. Oh, now he's hitting him that vice like grip. Yeah, working over the Trevisius, cutting off the blood to the head. Hancock's thinking going to be cloudy for a couple of minutes. Oh, my word. Look at the technicality from Jack Bull. This is lovely. And that could be a tap. <laughs> it doesn't take Hancock long to uh, to get out of that one. And they tie up. Who's got the who's got the strength? Chapel. Oh. Oh, there's the celebration. Now he's happy. Now he's happy. Oh, big knees to the face. Economics finally recovered from that one move he's taken all match. <laughs> And we're going to go for the tag now. Space helping Ooh. out. That was very nice. Cheeky shot from Space. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Stopping any sort of counter chance Hancock yeah. might have had. Despicable cheats when the Scousers do it, but uh, cheeky, <laughs> cheeky little helpful. Well, to, be, to be honest, to be honest, Jim, the Scousers <laughs> set the tone. You can't blame the opposition once they've got riled for, for matching them because otherwise you're just going to lose. You gotta fight fire with a fire. If you can't beat them, join them. How many uh, different sayings are there to say the same thing? Well, if you fight fire with fire, everyone gets burned. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Whoa! The butt to the face. What a move. That, that was quite the butt to the face. <laughs> and here comes the full stop. There we go. Oh, oh no, the knees, the knees are up. Oh, crushing the windpipe. Or, uh, or more the sternum, sorry, of Jackball. Oh. Wow. Slamming him by the crotch. That's, uh, that's a little harsh. <laughs> oh, wow. What's what's Hancock got in mind here? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness. <laughs> He's got him. No. Oh. Wow, that, that was mighty close, wasn't it? That was mighty close. Hancock now looking for the tag. He has exhausted himself. And uh, Fogonomic probably is the freshest of the Scousers. Zali Elliott might now be the freshest of the Quad Skulls. Yeah, Elliott surprisingly tagged out early and hasn't been in since. Great knee to the temple by Jabal. He really needs to tag, but uh, he's done this a few times. He just loves to fight. <laughs> No matter how bad and bruised he might be, he always feels like he can get that win. If he actually gets tagged into the match. Maybe that's why the other two are reluctant to bring him in. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's like oh, a long beautiful time field. block. Oh, no, but fucking on with a block back. Wow, what a back and forth <laughs> this is. Who's going to come out on top? Oh, boy. Oh, it is Jabble. Wonderful needs to go. But he's got to look for that tag. And he is going to drag him over to the corner. I think we're going to see it, Jim. Yep, should do. Space looking a bit tired, but Elliot, Elliot does not want to be tagged in. He's had yeah. enough of getting beaten up. <laughs> I think he was looking for the Elliot tag. So, yeah, he's yeah. had to take the space one instead. And like we said, Elliot the fresher man. So, not too sure on this tag to buy, uh, by Elliot here. Elliot taking up the managerial position now. Still not climbing onto the apron. <laughs> Thankfully, space doing a pretty good job on Fogonomic early. Oh, oh no, the spear called into a DDT. Unbelievable counter. How on earth did he manage that timing? <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh man, hits him with the Unagi. Space in all sorts of trouble. Somehow battles back on instinct. Uppercut to Fogonomic. Whips him into his good corner. Come on, buddy, find that tag. Get Elliot in there. Oh, Space got oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, I gotta forgive him this instead of the tag. <laughs> oh baby, oh baby, <laughs> fucking I'm in a world of pain. And now the elbow drop. And now the elbow drop. Can he get it this time? Oh no, the hey, moonsault. Moon oh, he's got it. Unbelievable. The, the moonsault from space. And, and I think he wants the tag. He's, he's trying to tag the Scousers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the new strategy. Maybe he's just uh, maybe he's just still hurting. He's going up again. No, now we're going to see the elbow. Way too long. He's taken way too long. This is bad. Oh god, that was really bad. <laughs> back in control on a counter space. Unfortunately, losing his bearings and taking far too long to get to the top rope. Why he didn't tag, I do not know. Oh, on a huge oh. right into the sleeper. Space is out. <laughs> Space is out. He desperately needs one of the quad skulls to come in, and they're not for some reason. No, I this think this is it. Gym. Yeah, I think this is it. I think he's got a tag. Finishes it every time. Nobody ever gets out. Oh. What on earth? Wow. I don't know if Space is conscious. I think the ref should have stopped it, but credit to him for not tapping. <laughs> Certainly doesn't look conscious. Yes, he is. Wow. One of the most incredible. <laughs> Acts of resilience that we've seen in the JFW in a long time and gets the spear. Just make the tag for goodness <laughs> sake, space, please. <laughs> Here we go. Thank goodness. Oh, yeah. Elliot finally yes. back in this match oh, after yeah, a long, long time. And uh, Fugger must be in a bad way. Rowdy. <laughs> I've just realised that. The Elliot's finisher should be called Bye now <laughs> Oh my goodness To the outside From the top room What are you doing Elliot Yes What are you doing Oh, oh no If you can't get beaten up By the opposition Beat yourself up <laughs> Oh god he is Steve Motty <laughs> He might cheat it Ruff Oh man Outrageous Outrageous cheating Disgusting what? How much outside interference from tag partners have we seen today? What the heck is going on? It's crazy, isn't it? Oh, and it's yeah. still somehow fighting back. Ref up to five. Oh, no. Okay, trying to tap. Elliot cutting him off. Tag, sorry, rather than tap. Boosh. Wow. Incredible. Bugger okay, has really, really been put through the ringer. He desperately, desperately needs out of there. Elliot controlling it nicely, though. Oh, oh space again! <laughs> space again! I love it, man. I absolutely <laughs> love it. Scousers, what? taste your own medicine. Ooh. Space at least makes Steve Marty pay. <laughs> no, unfortunately... Ooh. The other way around. What's Elliot doing? Just catching a breather. Yeah. Well, that's dangerous. Steve Mike's coming to sort him out. He gets back in the ring. <laughs> Thankfully, he uh, dies back in and he might be bringing in Jack Ball. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah. Two tags in for Jack Ball. Getting Fugger. Oh, cut off beautifully. Has not had that tag in ages, but he gets the leg of Jack Ball. Could this be it for Fugganomic? It is. No. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Steve Motti in! Wow! Chapel's so nearly stopping him again. But finally, the control of the quad skulls over having Fogonomic oh. in the ring is over. And oh my word. Oh my word, this is awful. Here it is, the cock drop. And it's right in the Scouts' corner. I'm not oh. sure they're going to get over in time. No, oh, didn't. Elliot, maybe. Incredible. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, fuck a save, Elliot! <laughs> Fugger saves Elliot! And mistake. Elliot takes out Fugger and Steve Motti! What a mistake. Why is Jackball enough time? Yeah, he's calm as. There goes Fucking Omic. There's only Hancock to save Steve Motti. He might tap the quad skulls, might have done it against the tag team champions. No! Yeah, we've seen that. Somehow Steve Motti in this late stage fighting back. 619! 619! <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe. Maybe not. Oh. Oh, no, he's just... Oh, me. no. Oh, no. Oh, he's got the camera, though, has he? No. Is he cheating again? 
cheating yeah. again. Got him tied up in the ropes. That is not legal, Jim. <laughs> Whoa! Out of the ring. Wow. Will Elliot do good. anything? No. No. They're, they're, they're too honest, Jim. They're the good guys. They're the good guys. <laughs> Elliot playing fair. Oh. Doesn't need to. Jamble to the concrete. Oh, sadly not. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Spear onto the concrete by Steve Monty. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Double oh, the hook suplex. Oh, my. Oh, my. Jabble's just dead. Jabble's match is over. <laughs> Up to six, and Jabble tossed off. I think the scouts are taking a count out win, Jim. That is despicable. The lowest of the low. There's no depths to which they won't sink to win. Look at Steve Boy just casually walking over and celebrating. What a terrible, terrible end to this. Oh! Oh! Economic restarts the count. Why did he do that? He would have won. He would have won. The Scousers want to win. Honestly? Do they even know what the word means? <laughs> I think it was just a mistake. I think it must be, you know... Devil somehow, on pure fumes, launching some fists at Fuganomic, but unfortunately, coming the worst off out of it. Oh, he's got a tag! Oh. He's made the tag! Elliot's in! <laughs> Fuganomic's down! Beautiful dropkick! And again! <laughs> And again! Oh my word! Three drop kicks! That's a good point, Muppet. Yeah, Fugonomics famously can only count to seven. <laughs> 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 that was his problem there. Oh, here we go. Bit of a weird slam from Elliot, but, uh, but we'll take it. That is lovely. It's over. Oh. Oh. Great effort. Great effort from Elliot. Having a little think. <laughs> and, a, and a little uh, <laughs> shimmy. He took too long. What was that? What was that? Rookie mistake. The only thing I'll say is Fugger could probably already do with the tag. Oh, no. Camel clutch. Camel clutch. For some reason, the quad skull's not coming in. Elliot has really? been resting on the apron for a while, and he does power out. Wow. Nice one, Elliot. What a legend. Oh, too slow, though. Oh, huge, Massive. huge super. Oh, but look what it's taken out of Fugonomic, Jim. He got absolutely battered earlier. He was stuck in for ages. He crawls over for the pin. He can hardly make it. It's taken him hours. <laughs> oh, my word, he can't. He literally can't make it. There we go, finally. Oh. So oh. slow, in fact, that it was just a one count. And it, <laughs> it might have even got the win if he'd managed it instantly. Yeah. Oh, Elliot powering out in an uppercut. Goodbye, Fugonomic. Oh, wow. Oh, stunner. what a bump. The stunner <laughs> sense on the outside. That's amazing. Look how psyched Elliot is. What? No, not in the Scouse corner. What are you doing? Oh, he, he nails it. He swapped up to the outside. <laughs> wow. Oh, Elliot, son. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, Fugonomic somehow finding a way to swing his fists and connect him. Oh, man. Rams Elliot into the apron. But he blocks the double chop. Right hands of his own. Fucking oh, he's got hardly anything left in the tank. Woo! Oh, oh. oh. Well, we could see oh. a count out now. <laughs> we could. No. We've said it before. The Scouts will do anything to win. It's up to eight. Why is Fugonomic still going after Elliot? Surely he needs to get in the ring. Space. Yep, yeah. yeah, that's Trying it. Stop this count. <laughs> oh, disgusting. <laughs> disgusting Scouse behavior for the win. Taking the cheapest, cheapest count out victory. <laughs> yeah. Disgusting way to win. Um, no honour in, no honour in that is the winning guy Cameron. <laughs> Except of course if you're against someone three times your size, 
<laughs> well, yes, uh, Rick did. Then it's, uh, then it's a smart and viable strategy. Yeah, Rick Reckless with the amazing, uh, the amazing strategy of getting the counter win over Goliath games. But oh, I, I wasn't, I wasn't segueing into anything in particular there, Jim. But you oh. make a good point. Thanks for bringing it up. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, the support, we've heard that the powers of B were not happy with the way that Rick won that. So he's gonna have to, he's gonna have to have a rematch here. Extreme Rules match, Rick versus Goliath. It's, uh, it's pretty embarrassing, isn't it, Jim? Um, you know, if all that money has gone into an event and so many millions are watching from around the world and then one of your main two matches is a, is a quick outside count out, you know, I, you can understand why Jim's man wouldn't be happy. Exactly, yeah. You know, had it been a war like that one, the, the count out wasn't so bad, was it? But the fact that it was just bish, bosh, bash, done, it was an absolute damn squib of a match. And yeah, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty not much. I don't think Jim's is going to stand for that. Let's uh, let's get to ringside. This this just tops off a perfect claw, doesn't it? The unbelievable claw we've had tonight. Wait a minute, there's there's Rick. But, is, um, is he in his wrestling gear? What's what's going on? He's looking for a microphone. What the hell? He's going to talk, pretty much. Awesome. Okay. What a glorious victory at Hamageddon, as I promised all of you. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Now, I've, I've heard those saying that they'd like an instant rematch between Goliath Games and myself, but no, darn it. you got to earn your title shots like I did. Everybody should get their chance. You see, if we give another one to Goliath Games straight away, we're denying somebody else. Look at the win streaks going on in the JFW right now. PC just beating Dimmy after beating Foxamania the other day, and many, many more. So, one at a time, I don't mind who I face, but I don't think, it should, I just don't think it should be Goliath Games again without him earning it one more time. I beat him fair and square, I came up with a good strategy, and I'm sorry if it wasn't the kind of win that we always like, but it was a great win, and I could just do it again today. So there's no point. Let him earn his win, and we can fight again in the future. But next time, give me somebody new. Ooh, yeah! Wow. Rick's angry, refusing to take part in the main event. I, I, don't, no, I don't know if he was angry, Jim. I, I, I think he had a fair point. Like, it, it's it's right. Like you, Sometimes you get a rematch if you were the Glorious. champion. But why, no, why should I you get a rematch if you were the challenger? Like, it should be There are other people in line. He, had a, he, he did look angry, though. I will defend. <laughs> in the ring, the model looked ring. But yeah, he didn't sound angry. <laughs> he's intense. He's, in, he's an intense guy. Like, he takes this very seriously. I, I, I think that's slightly different to anger. Maybe righteous indignation. Okay, there was an intense an intense promo there. Oh, thanks, Bill, with the top up for staying fantastic. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. That is, that is the end of Claw. That is it. That, there is no main event. Uh, wow. It was it was on for being one of the best Monday Night Claws ever, right? Every single match was incredible, but to then not have a main event. Like, yeah, yeah. Dis disappointing way to end, Jim. It is a bit sad, but uh, there you go. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us on commentary, Rick. Fantastic as always. Absolutely glorious. Yeah, ple pleasure, mate. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Great card. Woo! Woo! And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.